probably heard about our instant bar that was created in an effort to give you a full fledged uh, digital audio workstation with everything you need to get started for newcomers who never had anything like it and for people who come back from today's world back to Mac from Windows to Mac whatever you can come up with any scenario if possible but anyway it is a full-fledged digital audio workstation with everything you can think of you can start after the installation process right away hooking up your outboard gear and yeah installing drivers and you can start producing making music actually uh, like I said it, it was made an effort to give you a full-fledged star in your head at your fingertips we people were mainly in in that production process involved and pushed it to the actual product yes i'm calling it a product because nothing like it has ever been done before these were die hard mactron and supernova they actually made that product happen and you can thank them for that now how do you get this uh, instant DAW in your hand? Well, you have to be a full member of macOS9lives.com And why would you consider register, uh, the registration for the phone? Well, you get several benefits at hand not only do you have access to the makers of the instant DAW in case you have trouble shooting with your outboard gear you have questions before you want to buy any gear if it is compatible if there are drivers available for it you know eBay these days you get the gear and uh, you rarely get full box version with everything that came with it and after years companies drop in support uh, support for their old product they may even have drivers disappeared over years and abandoned it and you may not have access to it anymore but Possibly a full member has the same outboard gear or even a driver CD laying around and can help you out. Or you have other questions, be it hardware, software related, whatever you can come up with, just ask the question. Even if after installation you want to use or install a different program like Pro Tools, we have uh, four members here who use this program in the commercial production workflow they can help you out with anything you can think of around Pro Tools we got Cubase users Logic or Ableton Live Reason we got several people here who use these programs and I can tell you what you're doing wrong if you find a problem with it, with it or you might install something that puts the whole thing out of whack and you just find a wall or you hit a wall and you don't know what to do just ask the questions and we help you out troubleshoot so we have a uh, we have some heavy action here from guests but 
I told you already what the benefits are to be a member. Another benefit is you get a wealth of downloads, samples, and other programs which are for the most part lost. And yeah, join us and see for yourself. My, don't don't take my word. Create an account and just look around and see what you get for your registration besides support for like-minded people. Well, let's get back to the instant DAW. This is the search bar. Just type in instant DAW. D-A-W with a space in between. Hit search. It should be the third link that comes up. Make sure it gets uh, it's it's mentioned certified. This is this is your link. This is what what it looks like. Yes, I'm. I love Mac OS Nine. And I use it with Classilla, the only browser that's being still developed and supported, thanks to Cameron Kaiba. I love that people have patience and, and still pushing Mac OS 9 to the limit. There you go. This is the website. It contains everything you need. You don't need this password to mark it. Or, yeah, if you and then just copy it. You get a second link. You go paste the password in. And you have all these files. Yes, I know this here is what I would like to have work, but when you click on it, it'll tell you the limit is 2 gigabyte, which will be two of these files here. And that's about it. So you're going to end up downloading all of them here. You need all of them. The picture not, not really. If you like it, go for it by all means. But you're going to need all these. Download them and put them all in one folder. Make sure it is in one folder. This is a critical step. So after you you have them, um, let's let's look around. This is the download uh, the download size. What you are looking at after you downloaded every single file, and this here is the next crucial part. You gonna need a partition or a drive that is at least this amount you're looking at here. This is minimum. The whole installation will fit on it. And that's not very much. Calculate in that you probably have to install drivers and you might like some other programs. So make sure your your partition or your drive exceeds this limit or this minimum amount here other than that it's not so much of an issue the image was created with with a driver installed for a PCI audio file Hard. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can disable that driver. You don't have to delete it and go through hoops to make it work. No. You just replace the driver with your drivers. 
and we are good to go. After installation, we took up the artboard here if you have any. You don't even need real artboard here to test it. Actually, this, this is the beauty of it. You can utilize it in different ways and just play around with it, get used to it, get familiar with it. Maybe even read the manuals. Yes, some people do that. And if you go further down, you get in sections a list of applications that that'll come with it. And yeah, reading some of these names makes me already really itchy. Put my hands on it and just play around with it. You get a awful lot of plugins that come with it. Preset presets for it. And then you get a full production suite right in front of you, right at your fingertips. Ready to use. Nothing like that has been done before. Alright, after after you downloaded all these files, make sure you got them all in one folder. This is the important part. Now, what are we going to do with these files? Well, these are protected. The worst thing that can happen in macOS 9 and below, you lose the resource or the data fork and render that file useless. You don't want to do that, so that's why we decided we pack them and encode them, protect everything during transfer. Because uh, especially the Windows world is not very nice to Mac OS 9 files. If you have a transfer a file to Windows or even other platforms, keep in mind you probably want to archive it and binary encode it. It's, it's worth the effort because in the long run you make sure your file is intact no matter what you do. See, uh, the connection to the program is already lost in my case here, but this is not a big deal in, for me. I can handle it. It's, it's easily restored, but it could get worse and all these files they could be useless if I just transfer them without the, the, the little protection but let's get back to the installation okay now what we're gonna do with these files they are binary encoded well I will select them it's not gonna work with all of them and then hit expand I have stuff it deluxe installed. You use what, whatever you have available to you. But uh, yes, at the, at the end, you select them, hit expand, and let it do its magic. It's going to take a little while. You will end up with this. This is the program where the magic happens. And these are the data. So you're going to start this program, and you're presented with this. So now what you want to do is have a, a look at it. First of all, it jumps right into my eyes as the destination. Make sure you check and look that you don't overwrite a partition or a drive that you did not intend to do because these data they will be lost and we can't repair or help restore them. So make sure you switch to the partition you had in mind. The next thing the restore will not happen if you select the partition you can't boot from. This is the system drive for me. So it will not happen at all, no matter what I do. It's a nice feature. So all it could select is the drive that's 
where you can boot from and that's available I can overwrite some of it but make sure you, you have a look on what you're doing before you hit the restore button because it's permanent okay this is for the first video in the series what we have to cover at minimum and I see you in the next video and we cover the rest of the installation and have a first look at what you're getting and we dive right in see you in the next video